Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. We'll have every kick of the ball for you live on EA TV. Hello, good evening to you, and part of the story here is the Albite Stadium by night, 60,000 capacity here. My name is Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary is Stuart Robson. And it is a first test for these two countries here at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. Stuart, what are your expectations for today? Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important that you get off to a good start, so let's hope both sides go for the win here and we get an exciting match. Here's the starting 11 for the Netherlands. Matthijs de Ligt plays alongside Virgil van Dijk in central defence. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. The opposition starting 11. Well, I think they have a nice balance to their team. A solid back four, two holding midfielders, three creative players in advance of them, and a mobile centre forward. It's a good team. And the game begins. Angel Mena. Perfect challenge. Steven Bergwijn. Nice and easy for the keeper. Well, we have seen signs of an improvement by the Netherlands recently. The question is, are they in the conversation when it comes to teams who might win the World Cup? Of course, when we think of the Netherlands, we all think of that great team of the 1970s, headlined by Johan Cruyff. Well, I also covered the Dutch in 2014 when they did so well to get to the semi-finals. But since then, they've had a torrid time in competitive competitions. But they are getting better. They've got an old coach back. I think they do OK in this tournament. De Ligt. And given away by the Netherlands. Succeeded in keeping it in play. Steven Bergwijn. It's with Berghaus. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. Janssen. Well, not hard to read that pass. Angel Mena. Valencia. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. And teammates to play it to. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. Daily Blitz.
De Jong. Dumfries. Ah, potential danger. Well, it nearly worked out. And a fine interception. Gonzalo Plata. Valencia. And Mena on the ball. Chance to cross. Determined defending. Dumfries. Daily Blitz. Ake has it. Good movement. And unable to pick out a teammate. And that'll be a throw. Preciado. Angel Mena. Possession one. Ener Valencia. Ibarra. And now with Estupinian. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Good use of advantage by the referee. Well, as the stats show us, this has been a really even game so far. It just hasn't been enough goal or invention in the top third of the field from either team, which needs to change at some point. Ener Valencia. Grueso. Could he take them on and beat them? Oh, great defending. Oh, possibilities inside the box. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Daily Blitz. Well, oh, they've lost possession of the ball. Virgil van Dijk still level here but the pressure escalating spot on with that tackle Valencia so the whistle then we're at the halfway stage in this match Well, he's been a long way from his best up front, Stuart. Yeah, their passing hasn't been great, but he just hasn't done enough to receive the ball in dangerous areas. He needs to be doing more in and around that penalty box. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how this second half pans out. Preciado. And well, the attacking options appear plentiful. Options in the centre. Well, that's really strong play to keep hold of the ball. In possession to give them the lead, maybe. And a goal! Now they have their opener, and now they can celebrate. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. He skips past his marker, and that gives him the space to get his shot away. Excellent stuff from him. again what sort of response will we see from them now Dumfries mm -hmm. 
Berghuis. Patient enough build up. Can they carve out a chance? Well, they couldn't keep that sequence going, unfortunately. And good pressure high up the pitch. Valencia. Really nice ball. A terrific defending to stop them progressing. Caicedo. Chance to play it in. Well, a top-notch piece of defensive judgment. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Surely! And fine goalkeeping. Well, really, making the goalkeeper's life simple. That should be hit in the back of the net. That was a big, big chance. Well, the stats tell you everything. The chances have been few and far between, and they haven't tested the goalkeeper anywhere near enough. If they want to get something from this game, they're going to have to improve in the final third. Quite simply, they just need to get on the ball more than they have been. Simple catch, really. Frankie de Jong. Steven Bergwijn. De Jong. It's with Berghaus. Moving it forward, and credit is due for that good piece of defending. De Jong. Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. Janssen. And he read it well defensively. Estupinian. Moises Caicedo. Will he play it in? And into the last 15 minutes of action. Now can they counter clinically? Well, it fizzled out. And he keeps going. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. Flint. Janssen has it. Pope Mainers. And here they come, still pressing for an equaliser. De Jong. Well, no way through. Possibilities in the centre. De Jong, real chance. Well, the goalkeeper in charge of the situation. Substitution time it is here. Short corner taken. De Jong. And blocked for now. The referee knew that was foul play, but advantage it is. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Well, it petered out. Well, getting it forward, but they need an equaliser. This could level it. Splendid defending. And the fourth official confirming that we'll have one additional minute. Moises Caicedo. Oh, showing excellent vision. It looked as though they had attacking momentum, but not so. And the referee blows for full time. That haunting feeling for the Netherlands. They've lost this game. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, Derek, certainly not their best performance, was it? Just a little bit off the pace for me, and obviously a disappointing result. But the key thing is, they bounce back now, and they can't afford a repeat performance.
Well, he often cuts the figure of a thinking person's footballer. And Stuart, he's thought his way throughout this match. Well, I enjoyed watching him today. His work rate, skill and movement were excellent. And he fully deserved to score that winning goal.